Welcome to the Depot Sports Notebook, your daily WVU sports roundup at thedepost.com. Early in the second quarter of WVU's 41-27 win against Baylor, Mountaineers cornerback Darrell Worley misjudged a punt, attempted a diving catch, and suffered a rib injury that sidelined him for the remainder of the game. On WVU's next defensive series, Terrell Chestnut, the team's other starting corner, sustained a jarring hit to his head while chasing down a receiver in the open field and crumpled to the turf. He didn't return to the game either. Facing the top-scoring offense in the nation and the top-passing offense in the Big 12, WVU lost its top two cornerbacks in the span of six minutes. But the Mountaineers didn't miss a beat. Redshirt senior Icky Banks came in to replace Worley, and junior Ricky Rumpf got the call to fill in for Chestnut. Baylor quarterback Bryce Petty tested the newcomers as they entered the game, but both proved to be up to the challenge. Banks finished with one tackle and a pass breakup, while Rumpf made six solo stops. The cornerbacks were key to holding Baylor's offense to season lows in scoring, passing yards, and total yards. I can't say enough good stuff about Ricky Rumpf and Icky, WVU defensive coordinator Tony Gibson said. Those guys did a great job. It kind of screwed up our nickel and dime packages when Worley and Chestnut went out, but guys just kept stepping up and making plays when we needed them. It's unbelievable the way they stepped up and performed. The WVU baseball team tied Marshall 8-8 in exhibition action Sunday at Holly Field. With the Mountaineers trailing 8-6 entering the bottom of the ninth inning, second baseman Sean Corso hit a two-out, two-run double off the left field wall to tie the game. Left fielder Kyle Davis began the rally by getting hit by a pitch, then shortstop Taylor Munden hit a two-out single up the middle. Munden finished the afternoon 3-for-5 with three runs, one home run, and one RBI. First baseman Jackson Kramer was 2-for-3 with one run and two RBIs. Center fielder Sean Wood had two RBIs. WVU senior forward Kate Schwindel did what no other opponent has done to number 9 Kansas all season. She scored twice in one game. And the number 13 ranked WVU women's soccer team pushed its unbeaten streak to 12 matches with a 2-0 win Sunday against the Jayhawks at Rock Chalk Park. The win is the Mountaineers' second of the season against a ranked opponent and their first against a top 10 foe. It gives WVU at least one victory against a top 10 team in each of the past 10 seasons. Kansas is ninth in the country for a reason, and I give them tons of compliments, WVU coach Nikki Izzo Brown said. This is one of the better attacks we faced this season, and I thought we handled it well. WVU closes its Big 12 Conference road schedule with a 3-0-1 mark. The team has not dropped a match since a 2-0 loss to number 21 Duke on August 29th. The Mountaineers did not allow a goal in any of their conference road matches, and Sunday's shutout pushed their season total to eight.